here is question 1b part 2. So here's the uh, information again um, that we've got our table, we need that. So a little reminder at the top there, we talk about having twice as many jab as apples as beauty apples that are grown, so that's talking about the trees. So that gives me a ratio of jazz apples to beauty apple trees of 2 to 1 as a ratio, which is we can also represent as 2 thirds to 1 third. Okay, so there's a useful piece of information, so we need that. Plus table 1 talks about how many, um, what percentage get of apples get picked from the tree, from each of the two types of trees. And then table 2 is looking at from the picked apples, how many are sent off to export factory or to the local market. So let's have a look at the actual question now. So our question talks about um, a minimum of 120 of the 294 export cartons produced must be of the beauty variety. So this is talking about from just the export cartons, how many, and from those export cartons, it's a conditional probability that they will they need to have a minimum of 120 of those that are the beauty variety and we want to decide we need to show with calculations whether or not this condition can be met so let's start with thinking about what is it that we first need to know and the first thing we need to know is well what we're trying to get to is we want to know what is the probability of getting a beauty apple knowing that it is an export apple. Okay, when I can work out this answer, then I can go on and think about the expected value and work out the number of cartons. But I need to know this because that's what the question, the wording is talking about there. It's saying from the 294 export cartons, we need to know how many of them are of the beauty variety. So to work out this probability, we need to break this down a little bit further. We need to work out what is, how many are being exported. Okay, so I'm going to pause that and I'm going to hold, put that on hold for a moment. I'm going to come back to that because I've got to work out some stuff first. So first of all, I'm going to work out what is the probability of getting a jazz apple um, that is going to be sent for export. Okay. So that's first of all what I'm going to look at. So going back to our data, we're talking about a jazz apple being sent for export. So we know two-thirds of the trees are jazz. We know 85% of the jazz apples get picked. And we can figure out that down here, that 12% of our jazz apples get sent for export. So that's the first thing. I'm going to put those three pieces of information together. So we know that two-thirds of the trees are jazz apples and 85% of the apples on jazz trees get picked and from all the jazz apples 12% of them get sent for export. So that gives us a probability of 0 0.068. Okay, now we need to look at the other type of apples. So there's two types that go for export, there's the jazz apples and there's the beauty apples. So we've just dealt with the jazz ones now let's have a look at the beauty apple. So we want to know what's the chance of choosing a beauty apple that is being sent for export. So let's go back and have a look at this. And I'm just going to change colour of pen now um, to hopefully make it easier to see what's going on. So we are talking about beauty apples. And I know that one third of the trees in the orchard are beauty. Then from those one third of all the trees, 95% of the apples on the beauty trees get picked. Then further from that, 15% of the beauty apples get sent for export. So I'm going to combine those three pieces of information together. So that's going to give me one third of all trees in the orchard of beauty multiplied by 95% of um, the beauty apples get picked and then multiply that by the 15% of the beauty apples that are chosen to send to the export market and that gives us a probability of 0 0.0475 
Okay, so now I've got two probabilities there. And what I can now do is I can combine that together to find what's the probability of any apple being sent um, for export. Okay, so I can look at the probability of any apples being exported because I need to know the total amount, pro total probability of the exported apples. So that's going to be my probability of my jazz that are e exported plus my probability of um, beauty apples that are exported. So that's going to be adding these two probabilities together 0 0.068 plus 0 0.0475 and. And that gives me a probability of 0 0.1155. So I've just now found the probability of an apple being chosen to go to export. So in total, 11.55% of apples get sent for export. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to... Oh, not to there. I'm going to go back to what I originally started with is I wanted to find out what's the probability, the conditional probability of a beauty apple being selected knowing, given that it's being, that we've got an apple that's exported. Okay, so that's what I want to calculate next. So I want to know what's the probability of a beauty apple um, being chosen knowing that I've got an exported apple. So if I go back um, to the page here, I've got my probability of a beauty apple being sent off for export is 0 0.0475. So I've got, oh, not that, I want to change back to there, um, 0 0.0475. And I'm going to divide that by the probability of an apple being exported. And we found the total probability of apples being exported, there was 11.55% of apples that were sent for export. So I'm dividing that, and I did that again, 0 0.1155. And when I divide that, that gives me a value of 0 0.4113 to four decimal places. Okay. So that tells me that there is a 41% chance that any apple chosen at random is a beauty apple, knowing that I've picked from the exported apples. Okay, let's just go back to the original wording of the question. It now talks about how a minimum of 120 of the 294 export cartons um, produced must be of the beauty variety. So we're talking about a total sample size here of 294 export cartons. So that's what we're going to do now is we've got our probability and we've got our sample size in. We're now going to work out our expected value. So we can say E equals N times P. And our sample size is 294 cartons that sent up apples for, that are export quality apples. Multiply that by the probability that We've got a beauty apple from these export, so times 0.4113, and that gives me 120.4, and that is going to be the units of cartons. Okay, let's go back to the question again. It said a minimum of 120 must be of the beauty variety. So we have to determine if that condition was met. So can we meet that condition? from the information that we've got there. And we've got an answer of 120.4, so the answer is yes, the condition can be met. Okay, just, but yes. Okay, so yes, the condition um, can be met. And there's our answer.